It is Windows 8.1 with ping. 16 gigs of storage, but takes an SD card up to 64 gigs. One gig of RAM. BG and N Wi Fi, Bluetooth 4.0. It's an IPS 1280 by 800 display and a 7 inch tablet with a quad core Bay Trail T. That's awesome. It's actually not for 59 bucks. No, I mean, it gets tablets into the hands of more people. It's an accessibility feature. It's amazing. I am going to, uh, when Karsten gets here, I just want to tell him I'm going to review this instead of the uh, yeah. Samsung Chromebook because this is more timely. Just to, just as something to run Office 365 on. That's a pretty amazing. Yeah. piece of kit. Yeah, and you can. Uh, it has a US, full-size USB port, so you can run a USB keyboard off of it and mouse. On tablet yeah. for Office. <laughs> the tablet, the tablet for Office. Well, what's a one tablet per office per, per cubicle program? It goes nicely with the one laptop per child program. <laughs> this is less than the one laptop per child. It is. It's amazing it how far we've gotten. Two hundred dollars. Is it running on a Raspberry Pi? <laughs> uh, no, it's a Bay Trail. It's an Intel uh, quad core system on a chip. One point three three gigahertz, two megs of L two cache. Raspberry Pi version. Gen seven I Intel. The, I got my Raspberry Pi two uh, last week. Yeah, oh, Patrick Norton exactly. had one. He flashed it. It's funny. When you look at the box, it makes you hungry. <laughs> <laughs> All like good a, things are named after fruit. It's just it looks like reality. it should have come from McDonald's as a dessert item. I can't. I need something sharp. I hate it when I cut my fingernails. Alex, would you like a cup of coffee? Too bad. Are you uh, snowed in in Pittsburgh? I am not snowed in, but it is very cold outside. I had to relight my pilot four times yesterday. So... It's really we a shame a, that all this great hardware is coming out for Windows 8.1. It's like, yeah, like this 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 Dell XPS 13 is remarkable. Yeah, I, I it, really, it, it really makes you think about what if if uh, if Microsoft actually delivers on what they're promising on Windows 10. 10, I know, I know. And having a having a not just look, we can make, we, we, I think we we can and should make fun of like the capabilities of a $58 tablet, but there are like $100 tablets and 200 tablets that are pretty damn cool. I don't and, think this um, is actually that bad, but we'll see. It's not, it's not bad, it's just that you run, you, you run into the, the ceiling of this pretty quickly. It's not, it's not, it's Have not you played a device with it? you... Oh. Um, I've, play, I, I've played with other tablets that, are, that have those specs, and it really is like, um, you're most it's amazed slow. that... Yeah. that well, yeah, I mean, again, it's you're, like putting, you're most amazed that it works so well as a $59 thing. It's, right. it's not a toy. It's not this crappy thing you buy at the drugstore that runs Android 2.3. It is actually useful. It's like putting a Quake on an iPod. You can do it, but why? <laughs> a, little, a little bit, right. You, you, again, you run out of headroom pretty quickly. But it also if, has an HDMI port. I should do the whole yeah. show from the WinBook. Send <laughs> <laughs> uh, How are you doing, Andy? Are you surviving? Money. God, you must have, you must just really, this is terrible. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's past the humor stage. We got another, it's still snowing right now. We got another three or four inches today. Jeez and Louise. The MBTA, uh, the, you know, the subway system, uh, had a press conference yesterday and they said that yesterday, before today's snow, they said if we get no more snow, we might be able to be back on a regular uh, MBTA schedule in 30 days. <gasps> Oh, yeah, it's, it's not it's not just that we've gotten like 90 plus inches of snow in the past month. It's that 90 plus inches of snow and we've had maybe one or two days where it was below freezing. So it's just you're running out of places to put it. And uh, there was like a 32 car pile up on I-95 yesterday with 20 people going to oh, being transported to hospitals. Gee, things are things we're, we're just, you know, you, you you think back to the times when <clears throat> don't leave you know, the house. Yeah, I mean, yep. I, I'm but I'm lucky in that I don't have to take kids to school. I don't have to get to an office. Yeah. I was just reflecting yesterday that boy, would I be screwed. I know, I know people who are like, it normally takes me about 45 minutes to get to work and maybe an hour total with the, to get the kids out. And now I'm budgeting two plus hours, and I'm sort of counting on being late to work. It's just <sighs> look at this. It just actually looks good. And weren't they saying they're yeah. canceling so much school that the kids are going to be there till July now? Now, now they're trying to think of what do, are they going to cancel uh, midterm vacations? Are they going to simply extend school hours? And it, it's becoming a really big problem. I'm going to name this 60 buck. <laughs> Chuck. Chuck. Yeah. I don't know why Boston <laughs> stood up and took the snow hit from Montreal, Andy, but I will owe you guys lots and lots of hot chocolate for doing so. 
Yeah, I get it. I, 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 I bet there are a lot of Look, like it's pictures installing. Are... You know, it's not even a bad screen. Yeah, they're great stuff. You're just you're, the only real limitation is that you're dealing with a mobile CPU. But right. the fact that it has built-in USB, you can plug in a keyboard and a mouse to it. Yeah, you can even plug in USB. removable storage to it. Really this it. is, it's one hell of an interesting device. And That's the fact that I think the fact that it's a little bit thick doesn't mean that anybody should make fun of it. Well, it's you as thick as it ha kind of has to be for the USB. But notice the charger yeah, but, is micro USB. So I could keep it plugged in and run a keyboard right. and mouse off of it. But, that, but that's what I'm talking about. I think yeah. that if you, if you gave some, if you put two tablets side by side, make them both Windows 8.1 tablets, and let's say you have a customer who really likes Windows 8.1, and he said, we can give you the super, super skinny uh, eight millimeter thick tablet, but it doesn't have anything except for a charging port. Or if you can deal with a third of an inch thick we will give you full USB. We will give you a card slot. We will give you all this other stuff. I think most people would rather have a slightly thicker device. Fifty nine bucks, folks. Yeah, it's kind of amazing. I, I don't. I, I'm. I'm not. I'm not a business analyst. All I'm saying is that I hope that Apple has a plan for 2016. If Microsoft get finds its car keys and creates a Windows 10 and an app infrastructure that makes those things useful. Because if they do, and Microsoft and Intel keep working together to make these low power, high, uh, low AC power, high uh, CPU power devices that do as much, if not more, than a stock 9.7 inch iPad at about, what, one eighth the price, wow. that's going to be an interesting wow. metric. Wow. I mean, I would recommend this for a kid. I mean, yeah, I mean, at, at, six, at 60 bucks, you don't give a computer to a kid with the intention that he's going to destroy it, but. It's nice to say that instead of instead of instead of spending three hundred fifty dollars and kid, if you break this, that's it. The idea that I'm going to buy him the sixty dollar tablet, and with the understanding that he's going to use it the way a kid uses a computer, and I can afford to replace it twice before he has to buy his own. Yeah, just buy six of them, same cost, and uh... I'm just blown away. I mean, the world we live in <laughs> is so out. different. I was watching. Was I watching some old thing? And I and it was just the, it was how painful computers used to be. I mean, not even.